Oh, guys. Dragon Age time. I have a kitten in my lap. And not one on camera. She'll probably go down and lay down there in a little bit, though. Yeah. more food mm, let me know if the game is too loud or I mean or too quiet but it's turned up a lot from Pokemon Let's see. Okay. all right all right. According to my reports, the fire ship was stopped before reaching the harbor. Good. And while the ship did explode spectacularly, several of the mages were captured and made available for interrogation. For all the force are grateful the Inquisition's help, they sent all information they found on the Venatori, along with a token of respect from the Ferelden throne. All right. We get some cool armor, I guess. Find spies in Skyhold. Oh boy. I am pleased to have the chance to work with you again. Although I wish I came bearing better news. Iron Bull passed me information he and Liliana came across about potential Venatory agents operating in Ferelden and Orlay. I have followed up on the leads and in the process have discovered that there may be Venatory agents operating in Skyhold. Oh my god. With your permission, I would like to coordinate with Leliana on this. We can turn this problem into an opportunity by passing false information to these agents and seeing where it leads. It may give us the chance to find a major Venatory information source. If you are not comfortable with this level of risk, I recommend you have the spies removed and executed. This will lessen our ability to trace the Venatory spies back to their source, but it will make Skyhold more secure. I have passed our identifying information to Leliana. All right. So we can either go along with this plan, Liliana, or we can have Cullen kill them. Well, we'll, we'll use Liliana. I always trust Liliana. She knows what to do. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. 
So... Oh yeah, I don't have anything in the inner circle. I'm assuming the armor is not any good. Don't know what is it, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, easy. Okay. One second. We gotta do this thing from. There it is. All right. I should go do this hidden side quest that someone alerted me to last time. It's very silly. All right. We have to go to the Emerald Graves. Down here. It is East of Direstone Camp. Which is hopefully okay. Also, I want to start using someone else. I still want Sandra. Guess I can take Sarah. I don't know. Dorian. I want to try to use some different people. As we were having their dialogue start repeating last time. So. But I still want Cassandra because she has her Templar ability, which gives us another Dispel, which is very useful against the uh, the Fade Rifts. Otherwise, I would consider swapping out Cassandra for Iron Bull, probably. Ooh, excuse me. Whoops. Oh, well, Sarah, you have not been used. Not useful. All right, well, let's go get some of this stuff. Weird ability. Let's do that, I guess. Not sure.
This seems good. It puts you in stealth. Sundering, I would rather have the Alright. I think your weapons are up to date. They are. Uh, yeah, Dorian's up to date. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we need to go to a small rock formation that invites some bushes near a mural located east of Direstone Camp. Okay, C Gallery. Okay, wow, it's kind of weird. Here ish. Okay. I need to get on my horse. Okay, there's the mural, yeah. Just gotta kill these guys. Okay, so we are looking for a, a rock formation. Okay, that rock formation hidden behind some bushes near this mural. Oh, this one. Okay. Oops. Okay. Quest is obtained by jumping on the rocks approximately 50 times. Oh my god, well, it's kind of hard to jump on it. I have to, like, press forward in order to not fall off when I jump. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying this good content. We'll know we're done when we hear a voice. Is ready. Oh, that's good. Deviating from the plan. No accounting for whimsy. Small differences lead to fatal consequences. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we run away and come back. Pulling back the curtain. Let the light in. Let it burn. <laughs> and we just keep doing this for a while until we get the right line. Not time to come out. No. Not yet. What the fuck? He'll remake the world to suit his desires. His chosen to reign. Also, it's an elf's voice. Bring faith, bring hope, bring a dream of life. I think. Need more, more. Have to be ready. Ah, uh, there we go, okay. Shit, we don't have ten Crystal Grace. Wow. Wow, we only have six. We need... 
What are you guys doing? Get out of the trash can. <sighs> you silly kittens. Alright, sorry. <sighs> this weird Irish rock needs flowers. Uh, yes, ev evidently. Okay, we actually have this on the map now, so that's good. So we need 10 crystal grace. Shit, I didn't think we would actually, I thought we would have enough. Alright. Silver spray perch and vanilla. Oh, well, yeah, we gotta go do that. Well, we can go do that while we're here. Where the hell are these? Some of these, like, okay. So around there and silver spray perch, wherever that is. I don't know. Okay, well, let's go over here and. This is for a weird little uh, hidden side quest. Oh, hi, buddy. Hello. You're a large bear. Great bear, in fact. But he's vulnerable to fire, so. That's gonna be a joke. Hey, buddy, come here. Why are you running away? It says you're hostile. Have you not activated this mine? Are you not considered standing on it? There we go. Oh, Sarah's getting I forgot that Sarah is in melee, so she gets hit. That's why I normally use an archer. I always thought this area was super weird. Is it its conceit native culture's burial ground turned tourist resort? Uh, more or less, yes. It is the, uh, Uh, it is, yeah, the burial ground for the elves that has been turned into, like, mansions. Hi, Fiona! Has been turned into, like, mansions for uh, for the Orlesian elite, these, like, estates. Um, I do not remember actual lightsabers being in this game. Well, you clearly didn't play a knight enchanter or use Vivian, but, I mean, who would use Vivian? Oh, here's some more Crystal Grace. That's good. Okay. That's convenient. Oh, this is the perch, probably. That was mentioned. Okay. Did you get the flower crown? No, that's what we're working on. It was just sort of a lightsaber? Oh, so there's this, which is the night enchanter thing, and then there's my actual weapon, which is a, yeah, is a special... Staff, which is actually like a Dyson Airblade staff. Which I don't ever actually swing, because I just use this thing. But it looks like I'm dual-wielding lightsabers, uh, and it's hilarious. Um, the reason I use the blade is because it has, like... Basically, it gives me... The ability to do, like, three different types of elemental damage on my attacks. Which normally with the staff you'd only deal one. Um, I'm going to have to swap it out at some point soon because it's actually lower getting behind in uh, in damage. But the, the multiple damage types is, is really nice. Did I ever play the Bioware Star Wars MMO, uh, The Old Republic? No, I did not. I have a friend of mine who played a bunch of it. Told me about it, but I did not. Uh... Hey, buddy. Uh... You're also a, okay. You're, you're an archer. Like that.
Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't realize there was actually a bunch of guys. background music it looks like an uglier version of this <laughs> well I guess that's I don't remember what the uh, like timeline of when the, these are released compared to each other I mean this game looks pretty good still so why are these not lit with light the shrine Whatever it is. It's probably just that it doesn't save these being lit. I probably lit them when I was here. Oh, they just went out. What? Oh, is this part of a thingy side quest that I already did? I think it was. Alright. Um, so we need some more crystal grace. So I guess we try to go down here and find some. This is annoying. Otherwise, some of them are in, there's some in the hinterlands. Hey, ships. How's it going? Oh, thank you. You're uh, taking the, the throne from Total War here with his one bit. This video game makes you apprehensive? Why is that? Uh, some mushrooms. I don't need mushrooms. Too much content. Oh, yeah, that's certainly true. That is very true. That's why I only play it three hours a week. Three to four hours, I guess. Okay, let's look for Crystal Grace. It just says, I don't know if I actually had to go inside. I don't think it would be inside, though. <laughs> I couldn't play it for more than a couple hours because I knew I'd never get finished with it. first played this I played the shit out of it for like 40 hours or something and then I burn out and didn't play it for you know until I started it streaming it which was like a, at least a year later probably more than that I don't remember uh, okay well let's try and go in here and see I don't think it there's any inside but it says somewhere in it just says in Villa Morel the last video game I forced myself to play until completion was Dragon Age 2. Yeah, that's a pretty good one to complete. Uh, so if they're going to be in here, they're going to be in the... Like out here. to go look for more specific oh that's crystal grace right. okay we need two more god uh, does this one have like a balcony no Oh, 
Okay. All for this silly side quest. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Alright. I go to the hinterlands. Hey, what are you doing, Dio? Wanna come see me? Okay, most prevalent southwest of Lake Luthius. Which is what? That? I don't know what the lake is. Hi, kitten. Your butt's in my face. Why can't you get out of my face? Okay. I wish I could see region names in this area on this map. But I'm gonna guess this is it. So southwest would be down here. That sounds familiar. We just need two. We gotta find two of these, but they're usually only come in one. <sighs> this might interest you, sir. No. God, no, I got ambushed. I was taking a drink. It's like around here. Are you guys still here? Why can't you just leave? What? Do you have a fucking gun? Did you just shoot me with a goddamn gun? Be nice if these guys actually got like cleared out of an area after done it. Okay. I didn't see a region thing come up, but it might have been. <laughs> Discovering a lot of mixed emotions I forgot I had toward this game, but one thing I could say is all the animals are cute and perfect. It has a lot of really good animals in it. Excuse me. Ooh. Ugh. Excuse me. Okay, so southwest of the lake. Oh, hi! Hi, Rosa. Yeah. May have to go look up something more specific. Some try to find something more specific if I can't find these. Oh, Dio, are you gonna go see Rosa? <gasps> yeah, double kitten action. Get that double kitten action. Oh, but be nice to her. Don't don't bite. there's any up here. No. Oh, Royal Elfert, though. That's rare. Yeah, it's like the cool place we've already been.
Yeah, okay, this is Lake Luthius, so south west is over here. I mean, maybe we go down further this way. Hey, be nice! <laughs> I've never seen this before. Well, you didn't that I would expect so, since you didn't know I had two cats. Look at this class oppression going on here. <gasps> there's one. Alright, there's one. We just need one more. That said most prevalent, so there should be more than one, right? That's the iron and shit. That's not... I wish they should just store it on your map, like in Metal Gear Solid. I've never actually, like, used that on the map in Metal Gear Solid, but... In this instance, I would appreciate it, no? Oh, you left. <gasps> there it is! Oh my god, we found it. Let me get it. All right, we're good. Okay, we just gotta kill this bear. Bye, bear. What is that? Monster Hunter has the best record, re or record useless things on the map. All right, so we go back to Emerald Graves. Now we gotta go give the thing, give the person in the tiny cave the crystal grace. Let's try and get on our... Diamond's not here, so he doesn't have to freak out about this horrible visual. Has like seven tabs for all different types of things you don't need. <laughs> Alright, he's supposed to say something. Hmm. Well, hopefully it doesn't matter whether he said it or not. So now we go to Priest de Leon. We need to go to south of the keep. Here's the keep. You cannot reach the area by passing through and must go around the exact path to the location in the gallery. Alright.
Oh, okay. That's not really south of the keep. That weird rock, <laughs> goat, bear, horse. Yeah, it's a it's a nugalope. The weird rock is very influential. <laughs> Your offering has appeased the wee free men. This will join you in the fight against Corypheus. Evidently. Well, you know, it's a hidden side quest, I guess. It's a joke, but we want the reward. So I guess we have to start all the way over here. bogged down by some wolves in here that tend to show up. Okay, now we need to go, like, down here. Trying to keep the locals out. Giant fucking chains. How did that work? You guys with me? I guess you guys are with me. This place is really creepy even before the Red Templars. I assume these statues are already here. Okay. So we're here. We want to go up over here-ish. Oh god, we gotta go like all the way up here. So we need to find the path over there though. Then we can go back to doing what we're actually doing after we finish this. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we go up north. Went up here before. But of course. Hadn't done the side quest, can't. This yeah. one's trouble. I wondered what the deal with this was, because I think I came all the way out here, and there wasn't really anything here. Um, to my recollection, there might have, maybe I'm misremembering. But I feel like I spent some time jumping around out here trying to figure out what the deal was. Oh, there was a rune out here, that's right. So that wasn't totally useless, but... Okay. Okay. Now we need to find, okay, push the tunnel, right, I just found to the left, of a Veilfire Brazer, behind an illusory section of wall, rock, whoa, is 
there ever illusionary walls in this game? I don't remember there ever being illusionary walls. Okay, oh, behind this thing. Oh, okay. So... Is to breathe a plank of wood that can be climbed in order to reach the entrance. Alright, so behind this thing. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit. Is this a DLC area? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think this is just this dumb side quest thing. It's like a secret side quest. Fuck. Holy shit. Like the fucking stairs to the ab stairs to the abyss here, like Whoa. Holy crap. This is it. This is it. Take it. Use it. I'm going laughing all the way. Well, thanks, Wee Man. There it is. We did it. Alright, so, well, first of all, we have to go into options here. In gameplay, for some reason. No, no, it's not in gameplay. I always forget where it is. Is it an interface? It's not in display, is it? It's not in graphics. It's, I thought it would be in display. God, where's the fucking helmets? Oh, playing with trials on will increase your challenge while also in unique equipment. I didn't don't think I had that before. Oh yeah, it is an interface. Hide helmet. Alright. Changes. There it is. All right, there we go. Holy shit, we now have our flower clown. Okay, so let's go look at everyone else's since we're gonna putting them on. Sarah, what do you even have like normally? Uh, we kind of got, I think we kind of sold most of our helmets. So we don't really have anything that you could be wearing, but... Whatever. Oh god, Blackwall? What about Blackwall? <laughs> Alright, well, we have our flower clown. That's what we did all this for. Time to leave. Okay. So. I guess we can start back here. Okay, and I can close this stuff. We got our flower, flower crown. Ugh. It does look good. I'll give it that. Uh, get away from me, requisition officer.
Is it going to be all the way up there? Beeps. We had some luck. Do, do you actually have dialogue to talk to me about? Oh, you do. You found some shit. Well, that, that's pretty useless, but you know, good for you anyway. <laughs> God, it took us 45 minutes to find that damn crown. That's all right. Just getting up here. Hopefully I can get up around the other side. There's a thingy. A rift. Oh, come on, come on, let me get up on this side. Oh, come on, really? There we go, okay. Let's do that. Wow, that's so much nowhere. Are those lights in the distance? They may be campfires. Have a look. Just kill it. Oh, you guys are so out of the way. <laughs> so out of the way. Cassandra, you're here, so okay, well you can at least get one. You should have been able to get oh no, that's not you. Holy shit, you're all the way over there. Never mind, you're not gonna get one. down uh, fucking burn And yeah, it's even worse to have Sarah here with these things. They just run around so much, jump around. Uh.
finally kill it. This game has some pretty particles, yeah. Oh, yank that rift. limits are kind of hard to define because they're not uh, they're not like physical rock walls like in most of the other areas they're just like these areas where you start getting uh, sandstorms and eventually it teleports you back body like this yep okay let's not keep going that way A lot of bodies here. What are you, a wyvern? scale. Okay. Whoa. Wow, it's some pop in. Touch Wyvern Scales. I should look at what those do. Is that an actual place that I can go to? Oh. Huh. Looks like it. Oh, weird Dwarven Temple. Hi, Gothic Cornilla. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Dragon Age Inquisition <laughs> raid. Oh, another wyvern. Cats, yes. How are you? Whoop, oh god. There is a cat cam. It is actually live. It is not a static image, as some people seem to think. Sorry, Rosa. That's okay, Fiona. I'm glad you got it. Uh, you got your bot stuff working. Where is this going? I don't know what this is. A beard. Uh... Oh, 
this is the, okay. I thought there was going to be a region in here, but no. <laughs> One of the reasons you followed at first was cat cam, and then you, then I was cool, so you stayed. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Perhaps we should search about a bit. How was your stream? Uh, assuming you just finished. What uh, is that? Sounds like that's a dragon, right? Well, we found the dragon in this area. Finally, I was wondering where it was. Oh, hi. looking for here? Is it just going to be like a bottle? Oh, well, it's not a bottle. It's a note. Journal on Dwarven Phillies. Oh, you got affiliate. Sweet. Awesome. Do you know what your, uh, your sweet emotes are going to be? I was tracing heraldry etched on a wall when I noticed pictures of weapons with winged lizards worked in the decorations. I spent the rest of the day translating the inscriptions. The verse was apparently passed down through Firel's house, through his father, to his father's father, and so on, for hundreds of generations. From the stone, have no fear of anything, but the stoneless sky betrays with wings of flame. If the surface must be breached, if there is no other way, bring weapons against the Urtok and heed their street. Screams. You already know what you're getting? Cool. Urtok means dragon. Why was it part of an ancient crest? Why were these dwarves so worried about a monster they'd never see that they worked it into their weapons? This place becomes more impossible every day. Uh, what do you mean, a monster they'd never see? They're on the surface. Of course they're fucking worried about dragons. I don't understand this researcher. Who wouldn't be worried about dragons? Oh, look, there he is. Just popping in for the raid. Have to go get ready for work. Okay, sure. Thank you. Cave dragons are a myth. <laughs> hey, buddy. Can we see what... Uh... He is level 20. He's vulnerable to cold. Oh, because I should have had... And he has far greater fire resistance. Oh, wow, that's a good one. I wish I had... Uh... Solus with me instead of Dorian, but it'll work. Hi! Oh, he's just sleeping! We're just gonna go wake him up! This is me! A raid is just like a streamer when they finish, they, uh... Hi, Lilithan. Uh, they, like, direct people, their viewers, to another streamer. It's like, hey, I'm done, but you can go watch this person that I like. They're cool. Should do this. Use thingy. Yeah, yeah, they it's been like a cultural thing but they you know they yeah they added it as an actual like mechanic or thing on twitch yeah nope sarah's gone it's fine i usually fight these assume that i'm gonna fight these solo the dragons but if they're low enough level the rest of the party can live sometimes but this guy's pretty high level You just save the world from an ancient evil, and or kill some endangered species, yeah. I mean, the dragons are all optional, I guess, but 
you know. What am I gonna do? Not kill him? What are you doing? Oh, he's some weird. Okay. Oh, Dorian's gone. I have, I don't. I don't think I've watched anyone on Mixer. I don't know how it works at all. Still, that was not where I wanted to put that mine, but he'll probably still step on it. Yep, he did. You only get focus from killing people because I figured I would have been building up focus more. Oh. Imagine if there was a four episode arc of The Walking Dead where they killed nothing but pandas. I mean... I don't really hear good things about The Walking Dead, so... need the pelts for gear. I haven't even made any dragon gear, I don't think. Whoa! He threw me up in the air. This one's gonna take a while because it has fire resistance. My understanding that it would be the that arc would be the best in years. <laughs> that was free AMC. is an underrated streaming site. I just have never uh, looked at it. So I definitely could be. Twitch, you know, obviously is just like, it has the the audience, you know, already. It's, it's like Facebook or Twitter. There might, I'm sure there are social media sites that have better, uh, like, designs than those, but they're just... where people are. Oh, goddamn guard. stream uh, vaguely Cassandra <laughs> you're in my way yeah, this is the gaming affiliate site for Justin.tv. Yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> uh, Graham, who's uh, Twitch staff, mentioned once that uh, Day9 was, like, user, like, 
three or something on Twitch, and I asked if Justin was user one, and he said he did not think so, but he uh, appreciated the question. Thought it was funny. She does have a lot of guard, so a lot of guard build up, so like she can keep it keep building it. She should be fine. so much guard. This is actually like the this is like an on level fight. Like it's level 20, I'm level 20. This isn't even going above where I'm supposed to be fighting it. It just has a lot of HP and the guard is a lot. Fire resistance is also not helping. But my main weapon doesn't deal fire damage. Not primarily fire damage. Oh, stun! Hello. And there goes the guard up again. My waiting weapon actually does bonus damage versus guard, so it's actually going faster than what? They're fucking. Oh, they're fucking babies! Imagine this fight would be like if you weren't basically playing a Dynasty Warriors character. I have no idea how you fight dragons if you are not playing a Night Enchanter and basically invincible. <laughs> like, I have no fucking glue. I mean, I guess if you're a warrior, you can do what Cassandra's doing and also be nearly invincible, but... It's a lot easier as a Night Enchanter. Like, you can fight all the dragons as a Night Enchanter basically as soon as you unlock it. Unlock the prestige class. What? Oh, I'm stunned again. Uh, it takes a long time, you know. Oh god, wow, he actually hit me. So, I, I guess I need to kill these things. These guys are, I think, causing problems. They took away my guard. Yeah, okay, okay. Where is the little one? I can't see it. <laughs> this is the first time I've watched your Dragon Age stream, and I was just like, the combat is something alright. Yeah, I, I did. He did knock me down to low health for a second. I had to heal. Kill 
this. Oh, I can't. I can kill the baby. Kill the baby. There we go. I think we got the baby dead. I got my guard back, though. Oh, okay. Oops, I shouldn't have used that there. Are you fighting a baby? Oh, there's a baby over there. Oops. Most of, I mean, the, the dragons are the biggest, definitely by far the, like, highest health, uh, enemies in the game. Most fights do not go anywhere near this long. I mean, most fights at this point I just wreck instantly. God, that's, that roar is bad. That's, uh, that's rough. Oh yeah, there's the dragon, or a little dragon over there, just shot a fireball at me. Oh, oh god, okay. I need some, uh, oh. Guard and uh... <laughs> it's like an infomercial ad for some kind of anti-dragon bazooka. Have you ever thought about ever thought fighting dragons was too hard? It's not dragons for two. Uh, thanks, Obama. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. Getting him there. Poor Dorian. They're just battling. He's just, his body's just getting stomped on. Okay, I can... No, I can't avoid it. Oh, yeah, I can't actually... I think it didn't activate until... Until my uh, phasing wore off. So I think if I phased it properly, I would actually be able to avoid the stun. But that's really hard to do. Oh, no. Oh, hi, Sarah. Oh, shit! I got stuck on this damn tree! Wasted my run. Oh, 
Well, we have actually gotten a little bit of focus, so I'm not sure if that was just from killing babies, or if we just do gain very low focus. So you're saying if you got good. There are, yeah, I, I mean, I have people come into the stream and ask me if I'm playing on Nightmare, which is the hardest mode. I'm like, no, I'm just playing on Normal. So, apparently there are people who, like, who, who get good at this game, which I can't really imagine doing. Alright, let's kill the fucking babies. But your sword falling off and damage you be replaced soon. I mean, that's... Uh, yeah, this fight would be like that regardless, but... It would, uh... It would help, but it would still be really long. Not the younglings. The better the dragon better have one hidden in its tail or something. I don't know what it's what it's gonna have. Oops, oh we're both burning. Oh god, just get out of my way. Potion. Yeah, we're getting too many of these guys again now.
God, we almost got it. Just don't let it use its. Oh my God, we did it. Is everyone all right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. I'm alive. Oh, Rose the High really? Keeper. Alive. Is this... That last burst of flame nearly roasted us. Serve Sam and Island. Armorer of the Knights Divine. All right. Frost rune, pure dragon blood, dragon tooth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at this robes, although they're probably they are the same as mine, except mine are two points better. Yeah, the last of the two hundred bursts of flame nearly roasted them. You can look at Cassandra, how these are. Oh! It's actually, uh. It's better, maybe. We'll just have 7.5 percent less stamina. So, her current armor has better defense. Uh, but this one has abilities are cheaper, so maybe we'll switch her to that. It's also like Templar armor, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> it was all worthwhile. Oh, well. It's for the, uh, feel really alive just by getting bodied and being left unconscious in the dirt for an entire night. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see, who leveled up? Whoops, not weapons. Well, there we go. Cassandra leveled up. Sandra, do you need... Are you actually done with this shit? Well, that's okay. That's also maybe good. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Good night, Lilifin. <laughs> oh, whoops. I have uh, Sarah. Thank you for uh, sticking around. Ah, I, I didn't realize all these uh, the babies uh, all left loot. <laughs> it's all worthwhile. I gotta make, gotta make bad jokes. Well, that's yeah, that's what's important. Killed so many babies. Oh, there's the tomb. If dragons were endangered before, they are now. We're we're living in the dragon age, right? So they can't be endangered. Oh look! Oh, here's the eggs. Why can't I? Uh, I'll take some dragon eggs. Alright, let's let's go check out the tomb. Get extinctified nerds. Door is magically sealed. Uh is there a thing to put keys in? Can't you take the eggs and attempt domestication? Exactly! Huh. 
Hmm. I mean, this is the tomb, but I think I don't have... <laughs> One, you have magic. Two, you're good at killing dragons if it doesn't work out right. <laughs> so you can get on top. I can get on top. Oh, maybe I can. Huh. I don't know if there's any point to getting on top. Well, well they are supposed to be up here, given that that's missing uh, stuff. Oh, what's that, though? That looks like a thing. Well, that's a thing that I can't interact with. Three, you're battling Satan. That's more or less true. <laughs> Satan slash Nebuchadnezzar or something. Whoever built the Tower of Babel. There's still enemies out here. It's so weird. There is a geometry. Cane vibes? Yeah, that's also... I mean, the, like, building the thing into heaven, or, like, opening the way into heaven is, like, directly Tower of Babel, right? That's the, uh... The notion of it um but yeah he's got a lot of like primordial evil sort of stuff going on because it's definitely the first sin in terms of yeah like cain or well, i guess the first deliberate sin is also it's like this is why you have been well the maker has abandoned you rather than god has cast you out of the garden of eden but Similar, similar dynamic. Uh, okay, I guess there's another thing over here. like the dwarven architecture on the surface. like the, well, excuse me, getting to use that, uh, the art style in a less cramped area. It looks really cool. Death root, don't need. Already went. That's where we came in. So okay. Well, well, that was a fun detour. And I think that's that's the tomb. So we're gonna have to come back there. But we don't have the ability to open that tomb yet, apparently.
Hello. Hello, Phoenix. Okay. We guess we cleared this out. Uh, let's go see if we can go around just up to the. Well, is this the thing that's up on the top of the thing? Yeah, it is. So that's kind of a waste. So let's not go up there. Unless that's the one. Oh, that's the one. Well, that's also a mountain fortress. I don't know. I kind of like to go resupply my healing potions. Not that I really need them in any situation other than fighting a dragon, but. Bell fruit. These are, uh, you know, solid dunes. Alright, let's just start going down this way. Start clearing out this middle area. I'd still like to try to finish this area tonight. Please, not a bunch of despair demons. They make me despair. Oh, okay. No, this is totally fine. Hey, buds. Demon. Okay. Cassandra, go over there. You need to do that. Alright, should be one. And there is. Oh, well, it happened to be a pride demon, but that's okay. Alright, go off. I got his armor off. Had you white as a sheet. I've shrugged off worse in practice. Well, sorry I'm scared of the stuff I've been warned about my whole life, like most people who aren't seekers. I apologize. I could help if you're willing. No, I have things to do. You can help by standing in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do. Sarah is a mage racist. She's just very afraid of magic. Which is, you know, fair enough. And he's a die well poisoned. Okay. That's good. I'm a fan of the poison tree. Uh, let's go down this way. Oh, Dorian also leveled up. Hey, Dorian. I don't know where to get you. Uh, I guess you can get that. Oh, it's one of these. Uh, no, no, we don't want that. Let's do this.
It's like well. It's it's a well. Just imagine crawling all that way, dying of thirst. Oh look, the well's dry. Poor soul. Andraste guide them to the maker's site. Weird. Stupid well is way better than I could have hoped. The archer backed up just enough. I guess it has a... the mine must have a larger explosive radius than the trigger radius. Because the archer didn't trigger it, but when the rogue triggered it, the, uh, the archer still got caught in it. Alright, where is this... there it is. Oh, hi. Bunch of them coming out of this one. Mm, got one, not both. Okay, that's fine. These beings have objective fear from the pain dimension. It's say our 170th as strong as a dragon. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the the pride demons, the biggest guys you know, are like boss monsters early on, right? And now they're just like, eh. I can't, uh... It's their age, I just want them to pull their weight. Which is a lot of weight. It's true. Where's the... Okay, there's the board. Alright. So let's, like, head over this way now. What the fuck is a giant spider doing here? Ah! Die! Why is there a giant spider in this area? Fucking. Spiders. Oh yeah, go go attack that thing. That's gonna do you well. 
Did it just attack it and run away? I think it did. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Okay. There's kind of some stuff here. Weird. Let's give the spider some birth. Oh, I'm getting having a stretch. What's up, Rosa? Oh, stretch, stretch, and sit back down. Oh, precious. Uh, it's not in the canyon. Oh no, it's not. It's on the other side. Well, how do I get... Okay, there's a little bridge. Should go in the canyon. I'm guessing you can. I don't remember going down there. Oh, there's that. Big moon. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, these are okay. These are fine. was a whole bunch of despair demons, but it's just these guys. What are these guys? Shades. They're not even named demons, they're just shades. Spell. Spell. There was a bunch of tiny dragons, but thank god, it's just demons. <laughs> oh, we got a guy. All of these guys. Oh, he didn't even make it to sit off the mine. Oh, I got an achievement. I don't know what the achievement is. Marked for greatness. Hmm, quest. A quest? Or a question mark at least. Maybe not a quest. It's probably not a quest. Oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, it's in the actual canyon, isn't it? Well, let's... Hmm. Oh, my. Lots of things in the canyon. Oh, I'm Marita. Those red dots are beneath me in the canyon. Oh, weird. What in the heck? I realize the canyon is like arrow shaped. Excuse me.
You're not as handsome as you think, Dorian. <laughs> I must be. Or you wouldn't have been thinking about it all this time. Anyone who claims it as often as you do must be dreadfully concerned they're not. Look at this profile. Isn't it incredible? I picture it in marble. That's the canyon. I picture you in a ditch. <laughs> oh, ouch, harsh. Oh, we missed one. Where's my... I thought this was a camp. Oh, no, the camp's up there. This is just a abandoned camp. There, I do picture him in marble, but as a collapsing statue as his slaves rebel against him. down into this cavern or canyon. Okay, can I get somewhere that is less? Okay, well, it's fine. Is that a thing? No, it's just creepy. Alright. Is there a merchant down here? What the fuck? A loyal or a allied dog. I buying or selling from? What? It's an honor system. <laughs> Yes, I have the flower crown. Hi, Fiona. 
Slave state that is also imperious and also an ethno state. The bad part, homophobia. Yes, it's uh, it's like there is a thing we had uh, when we did the uh, the Kunari quest, and I brought Dorian with me because I was like, I was thinking, you know, he knows because they're going up against the Venatoris. I was like, oh, maybe he'll be useful. He'll, and then like, there's a Kunari elf, and. Uh, who has been like, who was, he was literally a slave, a Tevinter slave that was freed by the Canari. And, uh, Dor Dorian goes off on him about, like, oh, you gave up your free will or whatever, like, to join the Cued. And it was like, he was a fucking slave, Dorian. Fuck you. You fucking the worst. Oh, welcome to my shop. Be back soon. Bet Yar will make change for you. Okay, it is an honor system. Well then. Does he have... Okay, he's got some recipes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, how does he think that combo would go down in the positive for him? I don't know. It was like... I'm assuming that it's like... That's like... Like, I'm assuming that that, like, it's one of those things where somebody has that dialogue, or, like, in your party, and there's, like, a hierarchy based on which party members you have gets chosen to do it, but... Dorian is the absolute worst person to have to object to the cune to this guy, like... Oh, there's a landmark, but it's all the way up there. Okay. Also, we... Okay, we're not to the cave yet. You gave up good slavery for bad kind. Yeah, it was baffling. Like... There's... I mean, you know, when you're playing an elf, there's also some good conversations with Dorian where he's kind of like... You know... I don't know many elves. I think there's one where he's like, you know, I don't know many elves coming from where Kai come from. And it's like, no shit. I wonder why. Oh, fucking. Uh... Where's my, uh, where's my torch here? There it is. We're treating, like, most of the companions like shit. <laughs> there aren't really any, like, straightforwardly, uh, good... Can you hit Solus? <laughs> well, we are dating Solus, but out of, uh, academic interest more than anything else. So you're hitting him too. <laughs> well, not yet. Hi, Daimon. Solus probably finds it very hot that you're dating him out of academic interest. <laughs> that's uh, that's probably true. That would be very. He'd be very hypocritical and sad. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, we gotta do the puzzle. Alright. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay, so we gotta read the things. He bade each son swear he would take care of his brother. And the brothers swore and mourned when their father returned to the stone. Okay. After many years, Fyrol, greatest of paragons, could not bear life's burden. And with the burden growing, he called his sons to his bedside. Alright, so it's gonna be... He 
here. Did Shale ever show up again? Uh, I have not seen Shale. I would be surprised, but I would be, I mean, I would be very pleasantly surprised if she showed up, but I don't think so. Dwarven Banner, another key fragment, superb ring of guard damage. Alright. Okay, now we now we can go to the tomb. Shell was in some of the spin-off novels, I think she might have met Cole. Oh damn, that would be uh, that would be interesting. That's quite a pair. Which way have we? Okay, we've not gone that way. Please heal yourself. <laughs> I go unnoticed. I am a glowing rock person. Indulge me, Sarah. What do you think of when I say demon? Arrows. Fine. Magister? Arrows. Arrows. Not helpful, but given our history, I'll accept it. Formaturgy. Arrows? Oh. Magical endeavors. Helpful wonders. Oh. Arrows. <sighs> I don't know what helpful wonders you even know about, Dorian. Wonders like unbreakable chains, Jesus. Oh boy. Even have that on the map. It cannot be all the way over there, can it? I mean, it is. It's a very long sight range. So. Oh, no, it is a. Okay, that's gotta be that question mark. Weird. Why is this a question mark and not a. not already a thing? Oh, hey, buddies. How's it going? Yeah, use that whip. Demonic ex extraplanar invasion is actually kind of chill. Well, it's like a distraction, right? It's not even the main, the main uh, thing. All right, that time she got two. Oh, he got his guard off.
yank. So Daimon, did you did you read some of the Dragon Age spin-off novels? Or or just just heard of them? How how extensive is your uh video game spin-off novel uh knowledge? Haven't read them, but looked up a synopsis or two out of curiosity. All right. Oh, that guy! Oh, he's got like a giant sword. Oh, you're a you're a duty. This guy not dead yet. Uh, oh no, he's dead. As good a place as any to camp. Have something for me. The Four Pillars. Not only did we find the Dwarven Tomb precisely where I said we would, the writing on the stone uses a transitive verb found only in scripts that predate 700 TE. That means, obviously, that these ruins were built before the first blight, just as I predicted when we started this expedition. I believe you owe me some gold. We have a lot of this level left. It seems like. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, another one, really. Demons of the Stone. Until further notice, do not tamper with the torches. Lighting them in the wrong order summons demons. The inscriptions on the pillars indicate the correct order. But wait until we have confirmed the accuracy of our translations before proceeding. I've made maps to the other tombs where there are similar structures. Let the same warning stay your hand there. Uh, below this, someone else has written complicated formulas and scribbled many notes. Demons found into the rock. How did the ancient dwarves manage it without mages? Binding runes? Subtle properties of stonework? Investigate. Gangu carved into the walls. Could be translated from Old Dwarven as stone waste or impure spirit of the stone. Dwarven superstition saw demons as impure spirits of rock. Study impossible with Dwarven demons. Ask Cephas and Urathus for help with binding. Okay. I need my veil fire. These are really not that hard, guys, but I guess they just really wanted to double check their work. Who, against their father's riches, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. For pride these halls were made, to honor a father's deeds and grieve his loss. This is the tale of Phyrel, paragon among paragons, father of two sons. And for loss these halls were made, to honor a brother mourned. Okay, so this is going to be the first one. Uh, 
almost got all that mosaic. Okay. Description, directions drawn on a tattered piece of paper. Oh. Okay, map of the tomb of Firel. All these pieces of metal inside the tombs we found, they make up a key. A rather roundabout way of hiding one's key under the cornerstone. I'm shocked that the key fragments make up a key. That's uh, quite a surprise. Right, is there something else over here? Uh huh. I expected the wagon we set out to the canyons to return to the watchtower by evening. It is now past noon. That it does not take a half day to travel from camp to camp should be obvious, but if no one has a sense to be alarmed, look for them immediately upon finishing this letter. Take archers with you. Those spiders in the canyons seem to fear nothing but the screeching monster to the east. I'll be by the four pillars. The work goes well, but we're bound to be followed sooner or later. I've set up a watch on higher ground in the Sunstop Mountains, obviously named by someone who has never beheld a real mountain. <laughs> if you're looking for harm harmonum, he is looking for the tomb in the canyons to the west. Oh, excuse me. We go past that? What? Oh, okay. Fucking mountain snobs. <laughs> Evidently. Well, to Vinter. I think they're snobs about a lot of things. Oh, hey, buddies. Come on. Come to me. Everybody come to me. I want you all on me. I wanted you all to come to me. What are you guys called again? Terrors. Oh my god, go to your spot. Oh, fucking Cassandra. Oh, uh, we would have had none if Cassandra had actually moved. Like, she got stuck for some reason. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's literally the only one. We've had no demons in second phase. Yank it. Yank. Oh, silverite. That's really good. That lets us make heavy armor that uh, anyone can wear. I don't know that we have enough of it for that, but...
There's a lot of spiders around here for some reason. I don't understand it. Oh my god, you Um Oh, I guess it's in the area somewhere. That's not it. Inside the area, but maybe not. We're in the area. Patrol's gone missing between the bone. What is the even like the goal here? Found the bones. Locate the missing patrol. This isn't the missing patrol. This wasn't the missing patrol, like, oh, well, maybe this was, oh, maybe that's probably what it is. So let's get this uh, landmark. Look away, Diamond. Your judgment of the seekers was unfair, Dory. Oh, I'm sorry. I shut off the dialogue. It's fine. Everybody should ride mounts. Everybody should ride horses alongside you. I understand that'd be a technical nightmare, but it would also look really cool. Get on it, Bioware. Hanging tree? Oh no, it's a bucket. A draft of cold air from the canyon brings with it the sharp stench of rot around the overlook. Puncture wounds dot the corpse of Gurn and its unlucky owner. 
Well, that was a very important uh, landmark. That was an interesting phrase to hear out of context. Is this a hanging tree? Oh no, it's a bucket. <laughs> are you, are you going to the tree? They strung up a man, say he murdered three. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be. We went at the hanging tree. Hey, buddy. Any more of you? logging stand. I think I'm hearing dialogue from somewhere, but I don't know where. Very quiet. Doing it again! God damn it. Why is she getting stuck? It's so annoying when she gets stuck like that. Logging camp in the desert. Nice logging camp. It has about three trees. We can make a whole doghouse with the bounty but what's your trees? <laughs> oh, more silverite. That's good. Yeah, I'm not uh, not sure about that logging camp. Let's go, I guess, clear and make sure that there's nothing in this particular dark spot we haven't gone into. Well, there might be something there. Maybe a howda so your party can hide the nug with you. Oh, 
Man, if we had like a yeah, a big thing to to have multiple people on the mount, that would be less technically challenging and would look awesome. All right, nothing here, as far as I can tell. So let's go up to here. Here we go again. I wonder if this looks any more reasonable when you're playing a larger character. Character is not an elf. I'm guessing not really, but... I think it definitely looks the best when you're playing an elf. Final Fantasy 15 meets Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh man, yeah, road trip. The by oh, I've never actually seen Avatar. I do need to go up and grab these. So let's try and grab these up here. Look like Jean Claude doing the truck splits thing. Yup. Exactly. It's real good. It's real good. God, I can't look any further up. This is very annoying. It's like... Oh, whoa. What happens if I jump off a cliff with a mount? Do I take falling damage? Or does the mount take everything? I don't know. Let's head over here. Just really need to clear this, and then we gotta go do the tomb. Alright. Mm, I don't know that I wanna walk off, but. Oh boy, oh boy. That answered that question. Can we do this safely, though? And the answer is yes. <laughs> Wait, that's not how it happened. Well, I am injured, though. So something happened. my health fluctuating? That's very strange. Whoa. 
Many Nuggalopes were sacrificed for science today. Your ancestor never joy right off a cliff. Oh, look at that. He's got a he's got a falling animation. Oh, this is the ancient road. Okay, I haven't actually been here. What the fuck? Holy shit, how did I die? What in God's name did I die to? That's never happened before. Probably get a lot of glue from a lame, lame nugget up. Oh. What did I get murdered by? That rogue must have just like. Did something. Yeah, get on that, Daimon. Give us the lores. Is it one of the novels about uh, Alistair's dad? We need the daddy lore. I was speaking with Dagna recently. Did you take some of her tools? Just the thing that removed the screw bit. I thought I'd put it back. I'll put it back. Why did you have it in the first place? Needed it for the hinges. What hinges? Like on a door? Don't worry, it's not for you. <laughs> King Cannon Fodder? <laughs> well, the... It's the dad of King Cannon Fodder, right? Or, you know, assuming you mean the king who dies at the start of Dragon Age 1. I don't remember. I thought Kaelin and uh, Alistair were, like, about the same age, but... Is Kaelin actually that much older? I do not remember. Oh, let's see here, okay. Let's see if you can actually move this time. Okay. Yeah, you did it. Okay, now I'm stuck. I wanted to look that way. I wanted... Let's yank it shut. Yank. Well, 
Anora is Kaylin's widow, right? And and Alistair can marry Anora, so I hope he can't marry his uh you know, his I mean, it's not his mom, but like his dad's wife. That would be weird. Not that that'd be, you know, any I not that that'd be unusual in a feudal situation, but Split <laughs> it up. Yeah, I mean, he's still, I guess, you know, like marrying his his half brother's widow, but that's a little less. Uh... Oh, we really had to kill the spiders. Their dad, uncle, wife. Oh my god. Personal locket. Who are you? Enemy. Oh. Oh, you're a mage. You don't look like a mage. He introduced himself. Who are you? Anime. I wish more games would have those awkward friend or foe moments. Game, yeah. I mean, in this one, even it's like if I looked at the tactical mode or whatever, it would instantly register him. Everybody's got their their uniforms or their you know, uh, like heads up displays that just recognize everyone. I was talking to a friend of mine a while ago about uh, one of the mechanics in original Dungeons & Dragons. It's the reaction roll. <laughs> Our fit chips, but the F stands for fantasy. Um, where when you, like, you know, old Dungeons & Dragons is one of the, you know, people know about, like, random encounters, right? And, like, the notion you're spending so much time, you're... When you spend so much time, you uh, you run, you roll on the table and get some random monsters, or whatever. And they kind of imagine that this is like Final Fantasy or something, where uh, or um, you know ra where you're getting random monsters, like like or like in Pokemon or something, where you just get random stuff uh, that you have to fight. But the actual rules were also accompanied by the reaction roll, where you roll with a modifier based on your charisma and you get a result on the table and the table has like five results I think and only the bottom one the worst one is they initiate combat immediately I think the other results are like they're unfriendly which is basically they don't you know they're gonna kinda try to get you to go away 
or they want you to go away. Uh, they might attack if you approach them further. There's also a role for distance, like how close you are when you encounter them. Um, and then there's neutral, which is basically they don't want to have anything to do with you, but they're not going to attack you. And there's friendly, where they'll like actually talk to you. And it's like, it's a very different game when, you know, most of those encounters do not actually result in, in combat. And that's not really what people imagine. Um, and that's not obviously the legacy of those games, of that game, in, uh, in, as it developed in CRPGs, where it was like, well, we can, we can do combat, that's what we can do. So you get combat. Gurks or whatever your name is. What's their name? Gurks. Why is this guy just hanging out here? Like. One down. Oh, that guy's got tracks. I guess we do leave tracks, but not. Yeah, Renowned Explorers let you play out combat encounters as friendly or devious as well as aggressive, but it's all just combat under a different name. Yeah, yeah, it is. That game is, is really kind of odd in its framing. Um, especially just like... Exploration is a, like, explorers as a trope are a very difficult thing to do in a way that doesn't end up being gross or like whitewashing of stuff. At some point I want to play on stream uh, Expeditions Conquistador, which is a game that uh, tackles that stuff very head-on because it's just you are playing a party of, uh, like, Spanish explorers in Mexico, and you're gal you recruit people, and you have, like, it's like an RPG where you have, like, party members and stuff, but your party members will have traits just, like, racist or <laughs> tolerant uh, and stuff like that, and it's, like, it's a really interesting game. I don't know that it succeeds, but it's... It's trying to grapple with that stuff, like, openly acknowledging it. Yank. Okay, and we gotta go down here. Stop pointing that at me. What are you talking about? My weapon's nowhere near. Your face. That sobby, pity face. Why are you aiming it at me? 
I know what happened at Adam and troubled you. If you ever wish to talk... The Inquisitor came back. That's all that matters. Maybe it's you who's still shaky. Everyone just needs to not think about it and feel better. You're right. I do feel better now. It doesn't make it any better that you're taking, you're talking indigenous tribes into giving you their stuff rather than beating up for it. Yeah, exactly. Putting the word racist in the game that also contains explorers is a good start. <laughs> yeah, like it's, uh, it's very much about the, and it's, it's like, you know, even if you run a party that isn't, doesn't have racists in it or people that are like specifically called out as being racist, it's like, you're still structurally, you know, like, uh, stealing from them basically you know and, and killing people and stuff like and the game uh knows that so not for those reasons yes we know fiona i mean it looks like it's a fun game to play if you can like look out uh you know look uh you know just like a lot of games are are really like there's so many games that are Sophie and I were talking about earlier about all so many games that are, uh, you know, just their their framing and and storytelling is like awful, but they're really fun to play. So Okay, well, I guess we uh, we did the waste, so now we just have, oh god, we still have this? Well, I hope they're all in the fucking tomb. So the tomb is here. Can we just travel here? Mm. I kinda, no, don't talk to me. Jesus, I kind of want to actually get back... Uh, Varric and uh, Solus for this, just because I think they might have useful stuff to say about the tomb. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know if we're getting those journal pages. If I don't have any indication of where they are, I can't even go look for them. Do I need to give you a uh, give you a warning too, Fiona? I always I was trying to say, you know, look away, Daimon, when I get on this mount. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love this fucking thing. This is like one of my favorite things in this game. The uh, the Jean Claude Van Damme splits is a is a really good comparison. <laughs> Side saddle for the love of God, yeah, that's what Diamond said before. Never, I will never side saddle, <laughs> cowards. I feel like elves should just ride their mounts standing up. Oh, 
I'm, I'm, I hope like I didn't die because I just ran into him. Mounted saddle like raised up a touch. <laughs> I can just feel my hips popping out of place looking at this. <laughs> that goat ran into me. Uh, okay, can we actually? Okay, yeah, we're in. We're in it. Whoa. What? Can't get through there. betting they don't change the position of the stirrups for dwarf characters. <laughs> uh, that would be interesting. I would that'd be curious. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the tomb. Oh, Solus is leveled up. We're gonna level up Solus. Hey, buddy. How's your how's your rift magic? Uh, so it either weakens them or damages them. Uh, do weakened. Well, here we go. Oh, there's the last piece. We completed the sacrifice mosaic. Whoa. Superb demon slaying rune somatic. Promise of the storm. Unique dagger. Barrier damage bonus. Okay. I've never seen a rune like this before. Is this what the Venatori were after? Ah, you're holding the legacy of a paragon. Empire of a rune? For them. Heck, they still do. Whatever it does, it's probably ancient and invaluable, so try not to drop it in the sand. It's just a demon slaying rune. In dwarven history. Well, if you want an encyclopedia entry, it may as well be from someone charming. I don't think I ever completed a mosaic, though I remember at least a couple where I just one piece left to find. Why are dwarves always ancestor worshippers? Uh, because they were in Tolkien? Probably? Oh yeah, I had this before where I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my... my abilities. I don't really need any points. Oops. Varric leveled up too. Hi, Varric. Um, sure, we'll get you some more trap stuff. The AoE bigger. Is that really it? I guess that was it here. Other than those notes, which I'm definitely not going to be able to find without uh, any kind of guidance. Uh, well, almost. No, yeah, they're not even on the. Oops. 
errant quests. Not ah, god darn it. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. So man, that was I thought that was gonna take a little longer. Oh I'm dropping some frames. That's fine. Oh, let's go sky hold. So we have we have the uh, the shrine or the not the shrine the shard place to do. Inquisitor. And we have to do the last of uh, Empress de Leon, which is three dragons. Two perks. Oh, it's on the other side. Coordinating with Liliana has allowed us to start tracking the Venatory Information Network. Liliana seems pleased that she could feed the Venatory misinformation to disguise the Inquisition's goals more effectively. I will be in contact when I have solid information on where the Venatory Information Network leads. I'm using Ben Hasrath. Context cross related for all the trace the information, and I should have something soon. Alright, check spies in Velro. Our efforts paid off. The Venatory agents of Skyhold are reporting to handlers operating out of Valroyo. This may be our opportunity to follow the Venatory information network back to its source and kill the spider in its web. To that end, while I trace the flow of information, we must send Ben Hathrath and Inquisition operatives into Valro in sufficient strength. So when we locate the final hub of the Venatory spy network, we can eliminate its operations with one decisive strike. Valroyo is flooded with bards, spies, and foreign dignitaries. Moving our people through such a busy area should not present a problem. So we can move a smaller group with more discretion, or we should move our operatives in force. Uh, no, we're going to trust Liliana to see what we have. do it with a small group. We're not going to trust Cullen to storm the capital and scare them off. Okay. Let's see here. So let's look at our journal. Right, Firm and Oasis. That's our new one. Okay, so we have these maps that we didn't do. That's fine. These are in the dragon area. Cullen's plants are almost always, but what if we stab them instead? Yes. And uh, they are frequently failures. All right, it's just the hissing waste left. Yeah, or the not the hissing waste. God, we just did that. The forbidden oasis is left, plus the dragon area of Impriest Leon. So that is literally all we have left before we get to actually continue on with the main quest. Uh, so we're about at three hours. So I think we'll stop here. I think I should go look at staffs. I don't remember if I have... Oh, I need to go... I'd have to go buy a crafting for a staff, I think. Like a, a schematic. So I don't think I have a schematic. Good schematic, but... I can go buy one from the Black Emporium, which maybe I should do. A very high-level one. So if I go here... Yeah, I don't have any more. Okay. I can go get one. I guess I could probably leave from there. I have in staffs. So I guess I have one of these. Let's go to the Black Emporium. 
This guy's voice is really loud, so. Apologies if it's loud. Oh, I need to go do that. I need to go turn in research items. I always forget to do that. Watch your step. We received a shipment of invisible nuts the other day. I don't need that. Okay, tier three staff, tier three staff. So one of these. Uh, the one, the offense one. Is this the staff? The, oh, it is the staff. Huh. I get that one too. How much money do I have? Okay. Oh, interesting. Staff of Corruption, that sounds like a winner for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Everything is Let's go back. Uh, what? Why are you giving me a... I'm going to Skyhold game. Good on the Black Emporium for its truthful advertising. He's just a kindly old man who sells lots of weird shit. Just don't ask where it came from. Can I please remove that? Thank you. Let's go. Oh. This was the wrong one. I was like, is it the one by Varric? No, it's the one after that. Nope, I was wrong. It was the one by Varric. Hey, Solus. We should talk sometime. Oh, hi, Dorian. I don't want to talk to you. I just want to turn in research. Give it a request, Harry to make. Are there any special instructions? No, I would have stated as much. Yes, of course. I'll be quick. Of course you will. You're a runner. You may depart in a moment. Oh, good. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. All right. Did she actually give me something? Let's, we'll see when it comes off. Look like she gave me anything. I do like Helstroma. Okay. So what does my staff currently do? Currently does eighty-five DPS. Have to go here. Okay. Uh, this is leather. This is cloth and metal. Okay. Don't know what the distinction there is. Guess we can go look at what the leather does. Critical chance, critical damage, armor penetration, thunder on hit, flanking damage. So those aren't that exciting. We look at the cloth and the metal. See if we get heal on a kill, barrier damage, critic. Wow. 
Oh, it's dragon webbing, that's why. 70% critical damage bonus. Barrier damage, 30% attack. Seems pretty good. 35% attack. I don't really know what attack is, but, you know, it seems good. Just generic attack. And metal. Armor penetration, stagger on hit, armor penetration. Armor penetration seems alright, also just more attack. Alright, that seems alright. Let's do this one then. Well, masterwork. Wow. Where the fuck did I get that? Oh, attack all the time. Increase maximum stamina. Well, it's not useful. 50% faster movement speed while in stealth. There's a, an interesting combo I saw with this where you get, uh, there's an ability that's like you're stealthed while out of combat and you can just run around super, super fast with this. Gain three guard. Oh, we probably want that. Kill plus 10 magic for 10 seconds. You're the lightsaber guru, go nuts. Oh yeah, I wanna go uh I look at does my is it my blade that gives me guard? It is, okay, so I do need to use the obsidian. Uh I don't wanna do this. Okay. So I need to use the obsidian because this is what gives me guard. Fire damage, I don't want fire damage. Cold damage is fine. That's a lot of fire damage though. So Everite, it's pretty good. Navarite, okay. Everite and Navarite both give, oh, Navarite is cold. Silverite gives cold. I don't want to use the Silverite on it though. Stormheart. I think I want electricity. Thirty percent attack. I think we just want thirty percent attack here. Armor penetration, stagger on hit, sunder on hit, it's 12 attack. It's 28 attack, that's good. Wow, okay, 50, yeah, let's do that one. Flanking damage, critical chance, critical damage, flanking damage. I want to do flanking damage. Let's see what the best flanking damage we have is. 15%. Uh, okay, that's fine. So we lose our uh, extra cold damage on top of the lightning, but that's we gain a huge amount of DPS, so that's all right. Yeah. Also, I can actually fire at range again, so that's something. Where's my other hat? Right there. I can also make armor with that silverite for everybody else. I don't want to switch my armor, because I really like my elven armor. But I can make heavy armor for everybody else with silverite that normally can't use heavy armor. Alright, I'm going to save here. And we'll come back next week and do the oasis. The shards area.
I don't know how long, if that'll take two sessions or not. I think probably two sessions, because most of the areas take two sessions. Hopefully we'll be able to do it and the dragons in two sessions, but that might not be the case. So then we will move on to uh, the actual main quest. Assassination in Valoro after we get those done. So, All right. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for joining me tonight, everyone. Who's here? We'll be back next Monday with more Dragon Age. Tomorrow night is Metal Gear Solid. Where we're in Act 2. It's a fiddly area. So probably two sessions. Yeah, I did it when I, I did a little bit of it when uh, when I first played the game, but I couldn't get very far because I didn't have all the shards. So I waited to do it now until last. Uh, although I might not. I assume there's other areas where there might be more shards that aren't unlocked yet. But um, anyway, other games I play, you can see on the schedule below the stream what nights, what games I play, what nights. Uh, you can follow me for notifications when I go live. You can sub to me for an emote of one of my cats. But not this guy. Not Rosa. It's Dio. Unless, uh, did put in my second emote. Uh, two of six. Oh my god, the second emote is, is approved. Shit. Okay, so emote number two for $10 is now approved. Uh, which is Rosa here. Emote number one is, is Dio. Um... Email number three for $25 is uh, Karl Marx. So, you know, if you're really... <laughs> uh, yes, it's so good. I'm so happy. Now I have both kitties. Uh, okay. Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy. I didn't see that it was approved until just now. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to be bothered while she's she's busy. Carl and his cats, that's right. Um Okay. Uh yeah, so those are available if you sub to me. Uh thanks guys. I hope to see you again. I appreciate everyone who watches, I appreciate everyone who chats. It's a lot of fun for me. So see you guys later. I guess which now. Until we meet again It's been great To play and sing together In the box And now it's time, time to say goodbye So long Farewell To you my friends Goodbye For now Until we meet again Goodbye For now Until we meet